When TF2 doesn't make updates, it's up to the community to keep the game fresh. Enter TF2 Map's 4th Annual 72-Hour Jam, where TF2's content creators make, well, content over the weekend, receiving a medal in the process. TF2 Condensed was my entry. I think it went fairly well. I played on a handful of 72-hour maps yesterday on their official server. Mind you, these maps are almost all dev textures because making things in Hammer is quite difficult, so my objective rating scale has two main points I care about. Five for map design as a whole, including aesthetics, namely in terms of proportions, as well as actual game design, and five for fun on the map, which is far more objective. CP Cyclic is a map that's effectively stand and done correctly, where instead of holding all three points, you hold two to get your cap time to go down. The problem with this map is that it's one of the most confusing mazes I've ever played, and contrary to popular belief, I'm not a minotaur. I don't like hanging around labyrinthine horrors waiting for unsuspecting murder victims. So it gets a 3 for map design, carried by the fixes to the game mode, and 1 for fun. I like this mode, not much else. This map's a maze. It sucks. Koth Hesperus is a simple map, basically being a single Koth point. However, it has issues with scale. Sometimes it feels too big, while other times it's as narrow as Junction, and not in the good way, mind you. As a whole, it's a good map design reminiscent of Viaduct, but that's about all I can say. So, it's not much, but it gets a 4 for map design and a 4 for fun. Koth Slick is a very dark and surprisingly long Koth map. Not as in the capture time is very long, not as in the timer is very long, I mean it literally takes a while to get to the point. It doesn't play very well because of this and the layout is kinda... I didn't like it. It's a 2 for map design and a 3 for fun. It's not bad, it's just too large and dark and sparse and well placed health kits. CP Slush is a CP shitpost map, that's all I can say. It's terrible in every way, playing annoying sounds the entire time and throwing off the game's sense of scale, being half finished on top of that, and gets a 0 for map design and a 1 for having the entire episode of Reef Blower as part of the ice ring epilepsy you'll have on the map. It belongs up there with some of the other worst maps in TF2. Koth Foundation is an interesting Koth map, being set in a construction zone and building... some kind of building. It has the added feature of having movable platforms suspended by cranes, but I'm not a fan of this concept, as well as having way too powerful sightlines for snipers, and a general lack of health kits. You also get stuck on a few things sometimes, but that's a minor issue. I had fun on this, and I give it a 4 for map design and a 4 for fun. The skybox is also way too big. CTF HDR Bind is another shitpost map with medieval mode, bumper cars, and lots of saws. It actually plays a lot faster than real turn bind due to the lack of sentries and the bumper cars crashing into saws. Because of that, it fixes the issues I have with turbine being choke point hell. So, one for map design and two for fun, I guess. Alright, and saving the best for last, Koth Cliffside is a map I want to see in the actual game. It effectively evokes a feeling of being at a dam instead of a cliffside, and plays amazingly with several routes, including a one-way drop, a point with multiple ways to reach to it, good side areas, and a general cohesion I don't see often. It's genuinely one of the best maps I've actually played, and it gets a 5 for map design, a 5 for fun, and if it would be worked on more and I had a server, I'd put this into the map rotation. So, yeah, while this video was short, I treat it as kind of a follow-up to my actual 72-hour gem entry, because if you make content, it's only fair to look at the things others have made too. As a general pro tip, don't hit yourself with a hammer in real life. You could die from that. Wait, that was Red Spot? I went to placing sentries on this map is a fucking war crime.